So we are headed west on the Cross Pennsylvania Adventure Trail. And we are experimenting with all manner of technologies. So there's plenty of opportunity for failure around here. So we'll see what happens. And our favorite sign of all. No winter maintenance. And a good reminder to always ride right, even if you don't think there's very many people on the road. But over here is the Clarion River. You can see it in little gaps. It's beautiful this morning. There's no wind, so it's really reflecting well. What a pretty place. What a pretty river. turn is always interesting. One of the things uh, people complained about on the KTM 690 Enduro was that the engine got super hot. Um, they felt like their legs were getting baked off uh, by the engine. And so what I've done to help uh, mitigate that is I'm using engine ice now in my radiator. And then I've also... Uh, I've also taken and replaced the original fan switch with one from the Geo Metro. And what that does, I know it sounds weird, but the KTM fan switch didn't turn on until it was well in the 200 degree range. And uh, what the uh, what the Geo Metro fan switch does is it fits in the same hole, same design, everything. But it's a, uh, it turns on at 195. So it turns on earlier and helps keep the engine overall cooler. So both of those things, engine ice and uh, the Geo Metro, um, I think are keys to helping to keep this engine from baking your legs off in the process. What a beautiful day. We're supposed to have rain coming in later on this evening, this afternoon or this evening, but you can see the blue sky. It's just gorgeous. And, uh, but we've got clouds on the horizon. So, we shall see. But I think you can tell uh, using the tablet on the dashboard, I mean, I really have a great view of uh, of everything. I mean, it's, I might need to straighten it out. It seems like it's a little cattywampus just a tad. And uh, that's just a mounting bracket, and that's easy enough to do. Go left, young man. Follow the green line. So you see all these scratches on the ground in front of us? That's a clear indicator that we are in Amish country. And so watch out for turd piles in the turns. What a, what a 
beautiful country. Oh, this is just so pretty. Spring is such a beautiful time in Pennsylvania. I mean, it's hard to beat. Got about another two weeks of, of a variety of greens. And then it always just gets the sort of monochrome summer green and that's it, it's over. And then you're just in the heat of summer. Right now, you've got lots of different greens and it's really, really, really pretty. Now on my mountain bike, the horses in this field would race me down the hill. So, but these farms on either side of the road are Amish. So we are headed to the outskirts of a little town called Callensburg. And that's where we will cross the Clarion River. And continue on to uh, eventually reach a town the town of St. Petersburg and then the town of Foxburg. Now look at these horses. I love draft horses. They're so sharp. Just such nice animals. Alright, well the stock seems to be standing pretty still up there. And here we go. <laughs> That is a hazard of riding a motorcycle in Amish country. Let me just say it. A couple of years ago, this was a metal great bridge. They just rebuilt it. So, another beautiful crossing of the Clarion River. Or another crossing of the beautiful Clarion River, however you want to say it. I guess. was a fun little hill to climb. I'm going to let him navigate this with his horse before I go up. Another terrible sign on the CPAT. Actually, there's a stop sign at the end of this, so... You do have to stay under control. Can't go knee dragging. 